The stretch limousine struck the tree with such impact, the front part of the car caved in. All of the occupants may have been trapped inside. News 4's Ann Thompson talked to a man who witnessed the rescue. Uh, we pulled a couple of people out the side door, and they pulled one out from the other side, and I saw, I guess, the driver. How badly did the people appear to be injured? Not moving around too much. They're just, it's hard to say they had them in, like, splints and what have you. The players on the team masseuse were returning from a golf outing in Romeo. Matthew Dandenau, who plays right wing, said it was a happy occasion. Nearly all of the players were there, and the four in the stretch limo left the affair a bit earlier than the others. He describes the mood when the rest of the team was told about the crash. It was, it's pretty hard to, to, to take, you know, and we heard, I mean, those guys were in you know, pretty bad conditions also. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, we played together all day, and, you know, we had some great laughs, and just a great time and to come back like this and you know we all said goodbye and uh, this happened is just really unfortunate and I mean uh, the guys were pretty you know down and uh, you know th there was some uh, there were some tears out there for sure. Guys, go. Talk, 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 talk. No, go. Go. Get the cars off the property. Go. I know. Go, though. He works for the Gambino Limousine Service, the owners of the stretch limo involved in the accident. He didn't want to answer any questions and ordered our cameras off the property. But moments later, a friend of John Gambino, the owner of the limousine service, agreed to answer a few questions. Now, this driver, the one who was behind the wheel, is he properly licensed to drive a limo? Well, he drove for us as a fill-in driver, and we had him, he worked for us full-time a couple of years ago, and everything was fine then, and we weren't aware of him losing his license. He says the crash was the result of an error in judgment. Well, unfortunately, there was a vehicle in the middle of the road. He tried to avoid it and apparently lost control of the limo and hit a tree. Have you been able to talk to him? No, we haven't talked to him at all. However, police sources tell News 4 there was no stalled vehicle in the road. Those same sources say alcohol did not play a factor in this accident. Police were called to keep the news media off the property and because company employees claim they have received telephone threats. These threats, exactly what do they say when they call up? They just say, uh, wish we could see you right now. We'd kill you, take your head off. Wish that was you instead of them. Stuff like that. They're blaming you and your company for what happened out there. I guess, unfortunately. The friend says the Red Wings rent limos from the Gambino company on a regular basis. Yesterday, the Wings rented five stretch limousines here to take them to the golf tournament in Romeo. Bob Bennett on the Newsbeat. It's becoming more puzzling. First reports indicated a stall vehicle in the middle of Woodward Avenue caused the driver of the stretch limo to swerve onto the median and into a tree. Now police say witnesses tell them there was no stalled vehicle. Preliminary investigation also shows alcohol and drugs did not play a role in the crash. The limousine was rented from Gambino Services in Van Buren Township. An employee there insisted News 4 leave the premises. Talk, talk, please, please. No, go. Go. Get the cars off the property. Go. Our number for John. I know. Go, though. Yeah. But this man, who says he's a friend of limo service owner John Gambino, spoke briefly. Now, this driver, the one who was behind the wheel, is he properly licensed to drive a limo? Well, he drove for us as a fill in driver, and we had him, he worked for us full time a couple of years ago and everything was fine then, and we weren't aware of him losing his license. Van Buren Township Police arrived to keep everyone off the property. Employees say several callers have threatened them over the telephone. These threats, exactly what do they say when they call up? They just say, uh, wish we could see you right now. We'd kill you, take your head off. Wish that was you instead of them. Stuff like that. They're blaming you and your company for what happened out there. 
I guess, unfortunately. The friend says this is a very successful limo service. The wings rent cars here on a regular basis. He says people are upset because two popular sports heroes have been seriously hurt. Yeah, I mean, everybody's, if it wasn't a star, I mean, if it was me or you, it's still a human. Mm -hmm. It's just an unfortunate incident that happened. Bob Bennett on the Night Beat.